Hello guys, today I want to show you how to shoot macro photography using a reverse lens adapter and a 50mm lens. So stay tuned! Welcome back guys! Whenever you hear about macro photography, all you think about is expensive lenses and equipments. Well, there are many cheaper options you can choose from. And today I will show you one. And one option is to use a reverse lens adapter. The reverse lens technique simply means that you have to hold the lens around so that the rear element points outwards and the front element faces the camera body. You can do this technique just by using your hands to hold the lens but I recommend that you use a reverse lens adapter for the safety of your gears and for better image quality. In this diagram, in the normal position, a lens focuses light from far away so that the image is much smaller when recorded. On the other hand, using the lens on reverse, you can focus on a closer distance. This results to magnification. Things that we'll be using for today, Nikon D7000 plus Nikkor 50mm 1.8D lens, a reverse lens adapter, and a Yong Nuo speedlight with off-camera trigger and stand. And for the model, I bought some small toys and things. So this is the reverse lens adapter. It costs around 30 dirhams. And this is the 50mm Nikon lens. This is one of the cheapest lenses uh, Nikon is offering but it's one of the sharpest and it costs around 350 dirhams and for the DSLR you can use the cheapest or the beginner DSLRs out there and it may cost you around 1000 to 1600 dirhams So let's start shooting. First, I have to set up the lights. For this setup, I will be bouncing the light into the ceiling. Focus is okay. This is the final picture. Take note, I did not resize this picture there is no cropping involved now let's remove the lens and put the reverse lens adapter so take note of the markings there are markings where to put the reverse lens adapter This specific lens have a manual aperture control. Be sure to unlock the aperture dial. Put the camera on manual mode and set the ISO and shutter speed. Now let's set the focus. 
one challenge you may face is when using smaller aperture, you will observe a much darker optical viewfinder. In that case, you can use flashlight for focusing. You may also use tripods and camera triggers for more stable shooting. So this is the final photo. Take note, I did not resize the photo. There is no cropping involved. That's it guys. Stay tuned for more sample photos. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more photography related videos and updates. Thank you and God bless.